And we're back. It's IGN Plays Live. We're, we're playing around in Metal Gear Solid Five: The Phantom Pain. Oh, yeah. I think this is a pretty good video game, John. It's a really good video game. In and fact, you did the review. You really liked it. I really like this video game. Um, so we are... So we have we're at a, we're at a crossroads here. The, my my side op here is just to destroy this tank. Yeah. Okay. So Which I have a launcher right now with like you know a two stage uh, warhead. You could probably take it out in one or two. I minutes. could probably take it out in one shot to that side arc. I know? don't think you should do that though. I vote that we should neutralize the guards. If they're cool, we'll take them back to our base. Whatever. Uh, I think you should try and take that tank home with you. I think you're crazy. Uh, well, but yeah, I obviously. but I but I can't help but try. So excellent. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to trank these guards. I'm gonna use my thermal slash NVG to try to see. Oh, it's so bright. Oh yeah. It's so bright. Why would you do that? No, because uh, as you upgrade your your night vision goggles, they they get like a limiter that can make them usable during the day. I haven't upgraded them all the way yet to have that, cool. but uh, uh, it it works a little bit. But we're gonna just aim by the triangle. No. Nope. Okay, that hit. No, that that hit him. Yeah, but did it hit him enough? It's okay. It'll take some time, but we're not interested in dropping him immediately right away. I think you shot the rock. Mm. I think you shot that rock. Yeah, you shot that rock. Yeah, okay. He's really interested in what's on that rock now, though. Oop. All right. Uh, taking some questions. Uh, we are on Twitter, on uh, Twitch, and YouTube. Uh, if you are on Twitter, hit us up with the hashtag IGNPlaysLive. <laughs> Oh, Did you guys no. see that? So I made the, I made him fall asleep, and then the tank driver honked at him God. to wake him back up. Okay, this so game, you've guys, this this video game. So we'll hear. All right, so here's a question. Uh, Max Lanick over on YouTube says, "I don't really like stealth games." Okay. Do you think he'll still have fun? Do you think he'll enjoy it? Absolutely, uh, because as I was saying before. Oh, if you missed, you screwed everything up, and there's a sniper, and it's gonna kill you, and you're gonna die. Oh, well, there is a sniper. Yep. So it, what you guys might have seen, that little icon, uh, oh, boy, this tank knows. Oh, yeah. This tank you should, totally you knows. Should, you should run. This tank totally knows. Run? No, uh I don't run. All right. I don't run. I call for fire support. No. Sleep gas. Sleep gas everything. No, I'm bringing in a chopper. I'm bringing in a chopper. Why? Because I can, John Ryan. And also because we're not in a, in a big base where, they, where they're likely to have, like, anti-air guns and stuff. Yeah. Like, come on, a chopper will make short work of this tank. I don't even want to poke my head but up there. But you're supposed to steal the tank. No, I'm supposed to kill it. You want me to steal it. I want it. you to steal it. You know what? I'm going to take advantage of the fact that they think that I'm right there. Um, and loop around the other and side. And I'm going to loop around the other side, yeah. All right, so since we're we're blowing stuff up mighty readily, uh, Zach Shoshray, Shoshray uh on Twitter asks, uh, from what he's played, uh, non-lethal weapons seem to be pretty few and far between. Uh, how long is it before you can play with a Fully like non-lethal loadout. Well, okay, so early on in the game, it's all about research. You know, it's all about like, you know, what you. Uh, it's all about like what you put your resources into. So like early on, yeah, you don't have t much in terms of non-lethal. Um, yeah, you can. I think I was able to upgrade upgrade a, uh, a non-lethal sniper rifle after probably like the fourth or fifth mission. But it's loud. It's reloads really bad. Um, it's not going to get much better for a while. Yeah, but uh, the thing is, it's all about what kind of research you put into you put into things. Um, so you might have to do a little work. You Steal might have that to tank, get behind it, get behind it, put a Fulton on there before he blows oh. up your helicopter. Oh my God! How did he? He shot it with a tank cannon because it's a tank. Yeah, but tanks don't usually have uh, the ability to fold in 100%. Oh, my God, 100%? 100%? 100%? Are we doing this, guys? See? What did I tell Are you? Are we don't doing this? I hope they don't shoot down the balloon. There it goes. What? See, you just got to believe in I yourself. I got a tank. You got to believe in yourself. I got a That's tank, man. I'm going fast, man. Oh, don't, my God. Just don't do that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, Grounded Dreams over on Twitch wants to know what mission <laughs> oh, is no. this. Oh, you died. I died, but I think, do I still get the tank? I don't know. Ocelot sounds mad, though. I was so excited that I forgot to try to play the game. I was like, oh, my God, I it got happens. a tank. Uh, Grand Dreams wants to know what mission is this. Well, this is actually just a side mission. Uh, they have these things out in the open world called side ops. Vince opens up his map. You can see. Oh, no. Uh, see, look what happened there. Look what happened. That's what I get for singing. Yeah. I should never sing. That's just the lesson I should take away from all this. Maybe you No, maybe you'll steal the other tank, and now you can have two tanks. That would be dope. But let's see. Is the tank still there? Oh, yeah, it's still there. It's totes still there. It's never going away. Uh, okay. 
We might have to do this the easy way. Because I don't think people want to sit here and watch me try to fight a tank for another 10 minutes. But we'll see. Well, you should probably just not fight it. You should probably just steal it and be good. Okay. Uh, well, at least we, have, right. we have the cover so of So let's now. say you, you do steal the tank. Uh, Platinum... Platinum Gamer over on YouTube asks, uh, does this mean that if you fault an attack, does that mean you'll keep it forever? Uh, no. Well, uh, yes and no. Well, so if here's you, the thing. Go ahead. Yeah, here's the thing. When you fault in when when you fault in vehicles. Yeah. Okay. When you fault in vehicles, what you what you're adding is not the ability to create those vehicles or build those vehicles. You have literally stolen that particular vehicle. Right. So you can add it to your loadout and spawn in with it at the beginning of a mission. Yep. And use it, and you can totally um, have it brought back to your base after you're done with it at the end of a mission. However, if it gets blown up, if it gets destroyed, it's gone forever. It's gone forever. Or if you just leave it out in the field. Oh, no, generally speaking, if you leave it in the field and it doesn't get taken over, and you successfully extract, it gets take, it gets picked up, kind of like your that buddy does. That did not happen for me. I guess it depends on its proximity. I lost my favorite jeep. It might depend on proximity. It might depend on proximity because um, because I've definitely uh, definitely had that be the case. Um, you know, where, like, I, I had, like, a, a Jeep, and even though I didn't, uh... Oh, they know you're there. Oh, they know you're there. They Here found you. Go. Should I try to shoot back, or should I just run? No, you should run to the other side well, until they realize that you're gone. Oh, Ben Janka says, look at these two handsome gents. What's up, Ben Janka? <laughs> hey, hey, Ben. All right, guys. I'm sorry. The dream is dead. This, this, this thing is getting destroyed. Uh, all right, so... Uh, Daniela Guerra has a question for us that I can't answer, but I think you can because you spent some time with it over the weekend. Um, <laughs> what? Yep, is, it, is it worth it to play on PS3 if you have last-gen hardware? If all you have is last-gen, play it. I mean, okay. I mean, uh, my, my, my review of those versions is forthcoming, but I am, I am definitely going to say that it's still... like All the things I love about it, gameplay-wise, are still there like it's just a little bit clunkier it's just yeah it, performance wise this game is a little bit much for last gen hardware and that's really the main problem yeah i can i can understand that it's probably not the best uh <laughs> how is that what did you do up? i i was supposed to be blowing it up well why didn't you steal it Dude, no. See, the whole thing of trying to steal it is how he got into this mess in the first place. No, you get into this mess in the f first place because you didn't run away last time like you should have. It's fine. All right. Uh, Camel Kid asks over on YouTube, uh, how many hours have you put into this fence? And what? And part two of said question, what is exactly makes this game a 10? Like, what separates it from, like, a 9.7 or a 9.8? So what I've said to everyone, every, the best way I can describe, I can, I can break it down without gushing for forever about exact details. I'm hiding under this bridge because there's a mort there's mortar oh, fire. Oh, I, I hate mortars. I hate them so um, much. It's really simple. Like, I'm tired. I've been playing games for over 30 years, and for a while growing up, games got more and more intricate and asked us to understand more and more. And then at a certain point, games started asking less and less and less. And uh, they started to abstract what we're doing like i said i said in a video about why i got a 10 recently it's like they tell they say like yeah ambush this convoy we're not ambushing a convoy we're literally walking up to a checkpoint a, a place that, they, that that's been we're, we've been told to go and just we're waiting there for the one vehicle that's ever going to show up right and then we shoot at it and yay we ambushed a convoy we're so smart and good at, at games you know that's not press x to win yeah exactly press x to do this press x to do that um you know, this is a game where when you ambush a convoy, Go steal that tank. you ambush a convoy. Um, you actually have to like under find the intel and know where the where that where that convoy is gonna be. Don't blow it up. You have to you have to pick a good. Don't blow it up. Uh, no, you you botched it. You ruined everything. I didn't ruin anything. That was literally my mission. <laughs> um, is to blow this tank up. Got him. Um, yeah. So. They abstract everything. In this game, nothing is abstracted. In this game, it's like, hey, if you want to ambush a convoy, you have to find, a, you have to look for intel, interrogate soldiers, find out where that convoy is going to be, um, pick a good, pick a good spot to ambush it, set up, you know, set up some mines, set up some traps, and uh, and be ready to do it. And just wait. Yeah, and for wait like an hour if you have to. Yeah, and and actually make decisions. Like they're, they give you tools, tons of tools, and the tools are all useful. The tools aren't just there to be. 
like amusing or funny, right. like or just like padding. You actually have to understand them and make good use of them. And if you don't, then you lose. Interesting. And uh, that's. I'm sad in a way that like we live in a world where like games actually being sophisticated and expecting you to be intelligent is like no, not rare. The norm. Yeah, but like, it that's is the exception. Yeah, so that's like the biggest. If I was gonna sum up in one thought why it's a ten, that's that's the reason why. Nice. Well, I think on that note, uh, we're going to take a quick break because Snake probably has to get back to Mother Base and change out of those gross, bloody clothes. <laughs>